Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel and happy St. Patty's Day. Today, St. Patrick, back in what, the 1700s, 16, 1700s, right? Gave us the luck of the Irish. The shamrock was a sacred plant, actually, that depicts and represents the beginning of spring. So that in itself is beautiful. Also, um, what else? The green, green, of course, we know symbolizes what? Mother Earth, right? The plentiful, the plentiful beauty and abundance that Mother Earth has to offer us, right? As she is all, Mother Earth is all green. And then we can take it on the other hand, right? When a heart chakra is blocked, what do we feel? Unworthy, right? We feel, when we feel blocked, but that's for another day. Today, let's embrace the prosperity, the love, the celebration of the patron saint, St. Patrick. So let's see what spirit has to say on this day. Oh my God, there's the patron saint. I mean, come on. This is St. Patrick. Who is literally vibrating all of the colors of the rainbow. Hence, maybe there's something to that being said. Where, when did, it, I'm curious actually now. When did, not unless Mother Earth comes out. Let's see. But when, my point is, when did... And why is it only green? I know Ireland is all green, but there has to be a reason for the green, right? I know the shamrock, etc. But where did that even begin, right? There it is. We That's where it all begins. It starts with the first thought, the first curious, being curious in nature. Where are we starting from? A place of understanding that our ancestors, the, saint, the patron saints, right? All have given us their knowledge and their wisdom. This is wisdom. Green is wisdom as well. It's taking this one he, this this heart, this is the heart, the heart of the matter is taking this one idea, this one beautiful pentacle and turning it into something amazing, extraordinary. We'll see, right? Are we forgiving of others? The patron saint, saint is talking to us right now. I mean, it's healing of the heart. Oh my God, it is. It's healing the heart. The heart always heals. After everything that we've been through in life, at up to this point, right? We always know that the heart always heals. No matter what. And that everything that we manifest must come from the heart center. It is our devotion. Well, we're getting the patron saint right here. And thank you. Thank you. The learning, the wisdom comes from the ages. This is wisdom of the ages of how the heart heals, how the heart manifests. 
how when we literally resolve to put our ego on, right <laughs> from now on the peacock to me is is the ego that we placed on the shelf and when one puts their ego aside one can manifest what spirit is trying to tell us the manifestation happens learning from our ancestors is important right just like i just questioned i did i looked at this pentacle and i'm thinking well where did where did the green come from is it just because ireland is all green but did you know that the patron saint patrick was actually born in the uk So stop and think about it. Take a minute to learn other the history of today and what it represents, right? What happened to St. Patrick? Did he encounter? Because I don't know the whole story. I've read a few facts through the years, but how do we know that the patron saint did not teach others how to learn through experience of our ancestors, learn from the father. This is the father. This is a father and son right? There's much to be said about learning of the, of, of the history, right? Just in general, learning of the history of today. It makes no difference whether we're Irish or we're not. We're all family. We're all one. We're all connected. And here in this middle of the connection, which actually has the same depiction of color here, let me just show you right? This is the same color of our higher self, our higher truth. This is higher truth, right? And in the middle is how the heart heals. When we learn to take a minute, it's not, it's learning to take a minute, but it's about taking a minute to learn. Thank you. It's take a minute to learn about what has come before us today and every day. History does repeat itself, but it, it repeats itself in a different way. So maybe the patron saint here is telling us, St. Patrick is telling us of how one can really understand the truth that, that the heart always beats, continuously will beat on after even every heartbreak and every loss that we've ever had to suffer in one's lifetime. And those that came before us also endured the same kind of right? Those who have walked upon this earth, those who have walked upon this earth have learned the same lessons that we are learning today. It's all about this heart. Why? Because everything is at the heart of the matter. Anything and everything that we learn from, we gain knowledge from, we, we, can manifest from, it comes from the heart. And that's what this is about. The wheel is the world today. You can see the depiction right there behind. It looks quite similar. I saw the it represents exactly that, that world. The world is your oyster, 
when and only when you learn about the you learn about the ancestral lineage of other of others who came before us and how your heart heals and where it begins and how it still beats after all the loss it still it still continues to it re it replenishes itself because we're part of mother earth all the green here we all have i I'm, I'm really serious i feel that the patron saint patrick is telling us that we all have the ability to not only heal our hearts but also to manifest whatever it is that we want to as we move forward in life and learn about what others had to go through before us. Maybe the patron wants you to learn about St. Patty's Day and not just to celebrate and have a beer. You know what I mean? Like, let's go a little deeper than that. So take just a few minutes and really delve into the history. There's history to this. these pentacles. These pentacles have, look at, I'll show you this one. These pentacles have markings of, right? The sun is in the middle, correct? So like father, like son. The markings literally not only is, I like emerald, emeralds, I'm thinking emeralds, such healing, such healing can happen. Again, another huge factor of healing one's heart. The imprint, the imprint of this pentacle is the same imprint of our imprint on our thumbs and our fingers. It's the tree of life, right? The intricate nature, have you ever looked at the pentacles on these cards, right? You can't see it. If you have the cards, you can see. Just take a look at exactly the ace. So it is the intricate part of what holds and what holds everything together. is all that is weaved in Mother Earth. All that comes from that within us is the heart, is what we've gone through, what pains, what sorrows, who's burned us, who hasn't. And it continues to revolve and evolve. Right? So it's about learning here. It's about getting... Putting, just taking a minute to learn about how the heart can heal here. And that we have abundant rebirths of the heart center, the heart chakra. Wow. Let me just do this for a minute. I don't know, I'm being, I'm guided to do this. Love. The love is all surrounding us. It is, it encapsulates our aura. Love is everywhere. This side. This side. Go back to ancient history. Go back in time. Go back into history, the history, and take a look at what... I, I really, honestly, you're going to think I'm off my... You're going to think I'm crazy. But I believe that St. Patrick coming out here as the patron saint is asking you to read about 
his story. I really do. I'm, I think that we're being asked to take a minute to read about his story and how maybe the, the you know, because we know, right? We know, I, I can say, there's somewhat of a love-hate relationship with the Irish. Other countries, meaning, right? Where they had to endure many hardships. They did, hardship, right here. In order to become, in order for that pinnacle, which is the shamrock, to be the lucky shamrock, they too read the story about the patron saint and see what had, what in those times, 16, 1700s, they had to endure in order to make that, this pinnacle, this shamrock, the lucky shamrock, right? And why, and even in this depiction, look, this looks like the, literally the, the leprechaun holding the shamrock, the luck of the Irish. I believe the patron saint is asking us all to take a minute and look at how the hardships of the past going back in time, what they endured to have that pentacle literally become established as the luck of the Irish. I mean, you see all this green here, right? It's the love in our hearts. It's the hardships we've endured. I, You don't have to. It's up to you. But I'm telling you right now, that's what this is about. This is about gaining the knowledge, gaining the knowledge. It's about teaching your children how you can go and look back in time and learn about ancient history for history does repeat itself for sure. Let's take one card. Actually today I'm being guided to the journey of love cards. I don't know why, but I'm, let's see, one card for St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Happy Names Day to all who hold the name Patricia, Patrick, Patty, you know. On the surface, <laughs> it's like, you know, everyone thinks of St. Patrick's Day as let's just go to the nearest pub and drink. And that's all fine and good, right? Celebrate however you want. But the true nature is right here. If you want to dive deeper into the storyline of the patron saint. Okay, we got two. Let's take both. Coming together. How did this, how did this come together? The story of the heart. This is the masculine and the feminine. This is the mother and the father. This is all coming together. The story of coming together, right? The temple. The patron saint. So that is exactly, and look, the bottom of the deck, the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is all about the story today of the patron saint, Patrick. 
in the 1600s when he was a child? How did he become a patron saint? Do you know? We are being asked to come together as a community, not only to raise our glass to, in, in celebratory of the patron saint, but also, and mo most definitely, to learn. So I'm not, of course, one to tell anyone what to do. But I can guarantee you that I will be inquiring right now about the, the story and the history of St. Patrick. There's definitely a coming together of and how our heart always comes together and heals. Okay? All right. It's a great reading. If you do delve into it, let me know. I'm going to. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.